Hey guys, welcome back to PS Desire. My name is Ishwar. Today, I will show you how to turn a regular photo into something truly amazing. We are going to explore the world of cool photo effects. For example, taking your everyday portrait pictures and giving them a special touch with awesome dual lighting backgrounds in Photoshop. But before we jump into this awesome tutorial, could I please ask you to do two things. First, hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all our cool tutorials and second thing give us a thumbs up or like if you find this tutorial helpful it really means a lot to me now i am using the latest photoshop version for this tutorial if you have an older version everything i am about to show you can be done on any version of photoshop although i must say using the latest version is like having the new tools in your toolbox so it's worth considering if you can but no worries let's get started now let's kick things off with our first step we are going to give our photo a brand new background it's pretty easy so don't worry first go over to the adjustments section there you will see an option called solid color click on it and for now let's pick the black color Remember you can change this later if you like but black is a good starting point. Now let's add some texture to that background. I have got you covered here. I have already prepared five different sets textures that you can grab for free from my website. You will find the download link in the description of this video. And if you are a member of our channel you can grab these textures right from the community tab for your convenience. Once you have your chosen texture downloaded, simply place it into the document. I went with this specific texture because its colors match the clothes our portrait subject is wearing which will make our final image look really nice. Now let's bring in our main subject. Go to the file menu at the top of your screen. Then click on place embedded. This is where you pick the photo you want to work on. Once you have chosen it, just press enter on your keyboard and it will appear in your project. We will give this new layer a name just so it's easy to keep track of things. Let's call it subject. Okay, all right. Now comes a really important part. We need to separate our subject from the background. Here is how to do it. Go up to the select menu, choose select and mask. It's like the best tool for this job. In the menu that pops up, you will see a little arrow. You can click on, do that and select cloud detail results. This will help us make sure we get every little detail just right. Now hit select subject. Just wait a few seconds. And Photoshop does a pretty good job here. But when we look closely, you might notice some areas, especially the edges that could use some extra attention to fix this Click on this refine hair, it will fix selections in hair edges. Now take the refine edge brush tool. You can paint over those areas that need a smoother selection. Okay, all right. Once you are satisfied, scroll down to the output settings, choose new layer with layer mask and then click OK. This will make sure our subject is separated neatly from the background. We are making serious progress now and things are looking really fantastic but we are not done yet. We want to uh, make it seem like those cool background lights are shining on our subject giving our image and emulating real lighting touch. So we use inner shadow and outer glow effect. This can be a clever technique to simulate the effect of dual lighting and create depth and dimension in the image. They give the impression that light is interacting with the subject or, or object in a three-dimensional space. But before we get into all the nifty adjustments, uh, let's turn our layer into a smart object. To do it, right click on the layer and select smart object. When you convert a layer into a smart object, any adjustments or filters applied to this layer becomes non-destructive. This means you can make changes to those adjustments or filters and even modify them at any time. This allows for exper experimentation and fine tuning without having to start over. Alright, you got the point. Now onto the fun part, adding an outer glow to this layer. 
simply double click on the layer this will open up a menu where you can add some cool effects in the list select outer glow it's like adding a soft glow around the edges by default it's set to screen mode but we want to change that to overlay it will make our glow blend better leave the other settings just as they are and start gradually increasing the size somewhere around around 140 pixels usually looks pretty nice to this image and please remember and also note these values may change accordingly to the size of your image and here is a cool tip if you think the effect is a bit too strong no worries you can always tone it down just adjust the opacity until it's just the way you like it I often find that around 35% does the trick for subtle magical glow okay all right now let's add another cool effect called inner shadow it's like giving our subject a bit of depth and making it pop first click on inner shadow it's in the same menu where we added the outer glow start by adjusting the distance to around 50 pixels okay this will determine how far the shadow goes from the subject you may notice the edge of the light here if the edge of the light looks a bit harsh don't worry we can fix that increase the size until it's smoother maybe around 140 pixels okay all right now let's match the shadow color with the background light I'm going to select this yellow color from the background you can even add a touch of yellow to make it blend better now we want the light to come from the specific direction no problem simply adjust the angle until you are happy with it maybe around 145 degrees and here is the cool trick change the blend mode to soft light it will make the shadow look more natural and to make it stand out just right increase the opacity by 50 percent but but there is more let's add one more inner shadow to really make things blend really well click on the little plus icon to add it we are going to keep all the settings the same as the previous one except for one thing let's change the color to blue just select the blue from the background texture that's it okay all right all right you can see an outer glow can mimic soft diffuser light that wraps around our subject while an inner shadow can represent the shadows created by the front light source once you have got everything set up just the way you like it just click ok to apply these layer styles you will see your subject start to really shine and stand out from the background cool all right now let's fine tune and make our picture look even better by adjusting the highlights and shadows this is where you can really bring out the details here is what you need to do simply go up to the image menu at the top of your screen then select adjustments among the options look for shadows and highlights and give it a click it's like a magical tool that can make your image really pop now it's time to play with sliders adjust the shadows according accordingly to around maybe 30 percent this will brighten up the darker areas revealing more details then move over to the highlights and increase them accordingly to about 60 68 percent this will make the brighter parts of your image really stand out creating a really nice balance once you are satisfied with how things look simply click ok to apply these settings and remember you are in full control so feel free to experiment and tweak these settings to make your image look just the way you want it that's the beauty of photoshop you can always go back and make changes whenever you like all right we are really stepping up our game now let's give our image some extra pep by adding more vibrant colors it's like giving your photo a little boost so what you need to do is head on over to the image menu select adjustments just like before among the options look for vibrance and give it a click now a new window pops up and you will see the slider set the slider to around 20 percent 
this will add some lively rich colors to the image when you are all set hit ok looking good so far right but we are not done yet let's really make those colors pop with some easy adjustments using curves and levels first let's work with curves it's like shaping the brightness and contrast of the image add curves which you can find in the adjustments you will see a curve line place an anchor point right in the middle of it now gently rise that anchor point upwards this will give the image a bit more contrast making it look even better okay next we will play with levels think of it as adjusting the brightness add levels just like we did with curves look for the white point slider and shift it a little to the left this will make the brighter parts of your image pop adding a nice touch of brightness okay looking good and there you have it we have added more vibrance and made colors stand out the image is looking sharper and more eye-catching than ever now for the final touch that will really make the image pop we are going to use something called color loot it's like adding a special filter that can change the overall look and feel of the picture to do it go to the adjustments menu just like before this time look for color lookup and give it a click a new menu will pop up and you will see a bunch of different loots to choose from think of these like cinematic filters experiment with them until you find one that really makes your image stand out in my case after trying out a bunch i decided to go with crisp warm and fuzzy 500d color presets they give my image a fantastic look and feel but feel free to pick the one uh, that you think works best for your picture now one last thing let's add a personal touch by customizing the background and do you remember how we started with a black background well you can change it to any color you like for example you can turn it into a cool dark blue background that complements your subject and that's it with your chosen color loot and personalized background the image is now looking absolutely awesome we have transformed an ordinary picture into something extraordinary great and there you go everyone take a look at before and after it's pretty incredible right the best part is all the layers we have used are completely editable that means you can tweak and fine tune everything to make it just the way you like it you are in full control so don't be afraid to experiment and make it truly yours if you ever feel like changing the background texture no problem at all just choose another texture and place it into your project then adjust the background color and set the inner shadow outer shadow settings and colors accordingly to match your photo That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorials and tips. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Stay tuned for our next video. Take care and happy editing.